So I'm going to do forearms parallel, and you step back with both feet. Option if it feels too hard is just to drop the knees down and pull the belly up and hold in that position. So nice deep breaths there. And we're just trying to keep the hips level so I'm not allowing the hips to come down. I'm not sticking them up. I'm trying to hold them flat. Straight legs, pushing back into the heels. And just staying there for another 15 seconds. Awesome. Turn over onto your back. Soles of the feet together. You can pop your feet under something if you need a bit more support. So you put the upper back off the floor, middle back, lower back, reaching up. Reach for the feet. Slowly down. Deep breath in. Exhale, coming up. So knees are just out. If this is really hard and you can't get up, then you can put the legs like this and just pop the feet under a couch or under your bed and try to get up. But really try to roll through the back. So make sure that you tuck the pelvis under and ground the lower back. And don't try to come up like that because that's going to feel like horrible. So rolling down, rolling up. Deep breath in, awesome. From here we've got on our backs, both legs up, hands around the bum, just supporting. You can do halfway, pull back, halfway, pull back. If that feels easy, you can just make them bigger, down towards the floor. As I lower the legs down, I'm trying to pull the belly down into the floor. I'm just grounding that lower back down. Ribs are down, everything's down. <laughs> and then when they bring the feet together, squeeze the legs together, and give each other a little kiss, and then away. Again, it starts to get too tough, or you start to feel like your back is leaving the floor, make them smaller, and just try to keep thinking about your center, about that core engagement. And deep breath in as you go down, exhale, pull it back. Good, from here, nice little twist. So we come up, again, we're gonna round the back deliberately, hold it there, and then we tap either side. This feels easy, you can grab a weight, grab a dumbbell, grab a couple of tins of beans. And the further you lean back, obviously the harder it's gonna be, but we're going to be here for a minute, so you kind of want it to feel like maybe 6 out of 10 difficulty when you start, because then it should be 9 or 10 out of 10 at the end of the minute. So feet stay together, we keep twisting side to side, it's got 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Wonderful. Super nice. Slowly popping them down. So that's the four exercises. Coming back now to the top. So into your plank, whether you're in full or into your three quarter. Nice deep breaths there. So we've got four exercises, three rounds. A minute each. Nice deep breaths. Really pressing those elbows down to the floor. Good. Four. Three, two, one, down. 
Good. Into your sit-ups, coming round. Either soul to soul, or just with feet flat on the floor, rolling up. If you feel slightly more confident, you can start to increase the speed slightly. But you want to keep the control and make sure you're not falling on the way down. Halfway through now, doing so well. From here, we've got your leg lowers, one down, pull back. So these felt easy. You can do chin to chest, hands away, one down, and then the other. Clunking going on, but it doesn't hurt, so it's okay. So we're gonna make it nice, releasing there, ready for your twist. Coming up, grabbing a weight if you want it, or using body weight, and then twist, twist, twist. Lace the other feet together, leaning back as much as you dare. seconds to go. Coming towards the end of round two. Your abs should be burning. Good, last 15. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Yes, pop the weight down, ready for our last round, plank. And the plank should get a little bit tougher because obviously your stomach muscles are getting a little bit more fatigued. Remember, even if you started on this full one, if you feel like you're starting to feel it on your lower back, but you can just drop the knees down and try to keep the hips up. So the last 20 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. One, knees down, rolling round, and then driving up. Doing so well, we've got like two and a half minutes left. That's it, so it's just keeping those reps coming. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
both legs up in the air. One down, then the other. funkiness in what's happening. <laughs> it's because I'm filming. <laughs> yes, ready for our twist. seconds to go. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventy, sixteen, fifteen. Yes, coming up to the last ten seconds. Keep it going, keep it strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back up. Well done. So if you found with any of those exercises like you couldn't maintain the whole minute, then if you go to do it a second time, you can maybe try just making a few changes to make it slightly easier. Um, if you still feel that it's difficult to maintain for the minute, it doesn't matter at all. Just take a break, uh, take a couple of breaths, and then go back to it um, when you need to. So even if each and every minute you have to stop two or three times and then continue the exercise, you're still building up the strength. You're still going to make progress doing that. And every time you do it, you'll have to stop a little bit less. So keep at it. Keep making the little amounts of time for core training and feel nice and smart, but you have done it. Well done.